Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Gran Turismo 5. Today is episode number 13. Hopefully, you guys do enjoy. Right, so today, what we're going to be doing is we are going to be doing the Supercar Championship, and today we are taking the Ford GT. Uh, and we're going to try and squeeze as much horsepower out of this engine as possible, just because this car, um, because it is a sort of unrestricted. Uh, championship we may get some really powerful cars and I've seen on the actual picture of the event itself it's got a Ferrari Enzo so not looking forward to going against something like that uh, next up exhaust let's take a look see what we can get for this uh, to be fair that's not too much more for another three and a half thousand so it's not even three and a half thousand it's 6,000, so yeah, that's not worth the upgrade there. Uh, turbo kits, though. So that cannot be fitted, that cannot be fitted, that cannot be fitted, but this can. And we have enough. But that means we won't have better tyres then. I feel like we need racing... We can't even afford that. So I think we're going to have to go for Sports Soft. Go for that. Yes. Installation completed. And I feel like we could get some drivetrain stuff as well. Uh, there we go. Perfect. We'll leave that as it is for now. And go on to the first race. Um, which I don't actually know what the races are for this uh, Ford GT. So, uh, Professional Series, Supercar Festival. Uh, so, we've got the High Speed Ring first, then the Daytona International Speedway, and then the Nürburgring. Let's go. Right, onto the brakes. Second gear. Nice. Oh, connection error. No! Right, so we are here at the high speed ring. We are doing 7.46 miles. And if you look at the cars that we're actually going against, we've got some really interesting vehicles here. So we've got an Audi R8, which I'd say is on par with the Ford GT, but we've also got a Zonda C12 here. Uh, we've got a Corvette. And then we've got a Lamborghini Miura, which is a very old uh, supercar. We've then got um, Aston Martin DB9. We've got a 599 Ferrari, which is very very nice car and my favorite out of this entire list actually is this slr mclaren one of my favorite like the slr mclaren would be in my top 10 uh favorite cars of all time um and we're going against two of those but let's do this perfect overtaking one slr overtaking the other Look at that car up in front, though. I forgot shifting was a thing, though. Nice. Oh my gosh, this is quick. I think this is the quickest vehicle I've actually driven in this game yet. Yeah, this car could have potential to hit 200 miles an hour, which would be the first car that we've driven in this game to hit 200. Right, let's go. get 200 come on come on come on 197 couldn't quite hit 200 perfect awesome no didn't want to shift down there Nice 
Nice, nice, nice. Come on, come on. push the fourth gear a little bit further than we did last time. We got to 198 that time, so pushing the fourth gear further actually worked. Across the line. What time are we looking out for that? Very good time through there. Nice. So we got 17,000 credits for that race. Awesome. On to the next race. Right, so next up we are on the Daytona Super Speedway. We're going to actually see what the top speed of the Ford GT is. So let's do this. Two, one, go. Oh, we're being overtaken by an old Porsche. That's interesting. Okay. Oh, we got a TVR server speed 12 there. Okay, we've hit 200 miles an hour. It's the first car we've driven to hit that, so that is good. Oh, they're very close behind me right now. Very close behind me. She's making contact. That's not fair. Porsche trying to catch up now. Nice. Porsche is very close behind us. Come on, come on, come on. Where is that Porsche? Oh, it's a Jaguar now behind us. Uh-oh, he's overtaken. Should it be too difficult to regain that position though? There you go. Whoa! What was that? Unreal. Right, time to restart again. Right, let's do this. I think maybe this camera angle might be better just to make sure we don't spin out again. Jaguar, I want to spin him out so bad. Speed 
speeding past him. We don't actually have to break. We can make it around that corner at 190. Perfect. Ooh, very close to the wall there. Forty-four point four seven eight was our fastest lap. That is quick. Uh, and by the looks of it, the Cerberus Speed Twelve, which is normally a very fast car, is quite far behind us. Surprisingly, I'm very surprised with that. But on that note, on to the next race. Right. So we are now at the Nurburgring Grand Prix circuit. This track is actually uh, wow. It's actually got proper corners that we have to slow down for in this one. So this should be a little bit more interesting, a little bit more exciting. Let's go. Right. We've got Dodge Viper up in front. And I see a McLaren F1 there. That is going to be a good rival to go against in this. Got a bit wide through that corner. Everyone is keeping up very close behind us. Nice. I think the McLaren F1 would be in like sixth gear by now down that straight. is sticking to us though. This is going to make it a little bit more difficult. Because there was not a McLaren F1 in the first race. Right, on to lap number two. Let's go.
Baron F1 is still just behind us, but we are staying that little bit ahead. Sliding through that corner though. Just barely managing to scrape around it. Nice, nice. In into first gear here. Perfect. Nice. On to the final lap now. Two minutes, eight point two one three, and we're one point two seconds ahead. is catching up so we've got to make sure we don't mess up. That's where the McLaren F1 can catch up as well is those corners because his um, acceleration and cornering speed is much higher than ours. One thing I will say Gran Turismo isn't good at is engine noise in these older games. Obviously the Gran Turismo Sport, the engine noise is amazing, but in the older ones it's not great. But then they make up for it the fact that there are so many cars and that they put effort elsewhere rather than just the engine. Just saved it. Right. Oh, it's the wrong button. That is the button I want to be looking at now, though. Perfect. Finish line. First place. We had a Ferrari F430 and a Celine S7 in there. We had the SL2, uh, SLR McLaren and an SLS AMG as well. Nice! And we beat all of them. Okay, right, on to the next one, which should be the Nürburgring challenge I think we're going to do now. Right, so next up is the Mercedes-Benz AMG driving school, and we are on the Nürburgring with the SLS AMG 10, so each of these will give us... If we get silver, around about 38,000 credits per mission. If we get gold, we'll be getting ourselves uh, somewhere around 69,000. So let's get into the first sector. Right, so we are onto the first sector with the SLS AMG. Let's go. Uh, let's move our camera angle to a better position. Perfect. Hopefully that uh, going off the road there hasn't messed our time up too much. Nice. 
Nice. This car is quick. We could have gotten gold, but we did so bad there. Um, but yeah, let's see how much money that got us then. Should get us quite a fair sum. 38,000, yes. I was right with my guess. And we are now level 15. Nice. Right, on to the next one. Right, so we are now moving on to sector 2. We're aiming for a 2 minutes and 6 seconds for silver. I think gold is out of the question for now with these challenges. But silver is a possibility still. So let's do this. Try that again, that, that didn't go great. We've got to stay as far away as possible from the grass. I've probably messed up silver now. Perfect. Oh. A little bit sliding through there. Oh, we were just a little bit too slow, but I will finish that off camera another time. Right, next. Time to go to the next sector. Right, so we are now on to sector three. Ah, uh, let's do this. One minute 52 we're aiming for. Come on, little SLS, we can do this. Nice. This is the speedy section. Oh, hit the edge a little bit there. Nice. 
147.932. I think 144 is actually very possible with that one. That is very possible to hit that. Uh, 38,000. Very nice. Moving on to the final sector now. Right, let's go. We're aiming for a 2 minutes and 13 seconds. Right. Nice. Right, let's do this. That was a very good corner there. And coming up to the mini carousel now. Come on, speed is key. Come on, come on, come on. I have a feeling we could get gold. Nice, nice. Medal, though. I will take that. Very nice. Right, on to the full lap now. Right, so we are now here on the Nürburgring Nordschleife to do the full lap. We have to beat a time of 7 minutes and 35 seconds. Let's do this. And go. Perfect. Get past you. That was terrible. We've definitely lost gold. But silver is still in the works. of grip at the rear wheels there. Oh no. This car 
cars everywhere. Literally butt clenching through that. Carousel in a minute. Nice. Perfect. Why was I can't not move it? Here, nice. So gold isn't happening, we were miles off that. Hopefully silver can happen though. Forty seconds. Thirty seconds. Nice. And 
with 10 seconds left. Across the line for a silver medal. Nicely done. That was very good. Seven minutes and 27 seconds and 38,000 credits. Very nice. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe. If you want to keep up to date with all the stuff going on on the Mechanic CG channel, then be sure to go take a look in the description for links of socials and all sorts of other places. And also we have finally got merch down there, so go check that out. And if you want to help support the channel, hit that join button. It means the world to me. And I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.